Sorry, Tiffany and Co. We're gonna get one of our wish list items for 2023. You ready? You ready to go in? Okay, let's go in. Are you able to manipulate a tad, like if you get like a just little a little bit? bit like right? I, would, I wouldn't recommend really trying because it's a hollow design. You do and you pull it to your wrist, the internal, integral, like it kind of bends and it's like so. You can't fix it. In terms of like a little, you can just a tad squeeze your hair. This is medium. And this is a size medium in terms of the wrist size. So let's see, because this was large. Let's go down. Too, actually. The beautiful curve yeah. sits on the wrist, and then this obviously because we all have a little. I guess I, I had went to the Hudson Yards on the buy cups and we shipped something there. I guess I tried that one, so it wasn't as like yeah. plump to me. This has a lot more. That is definitely more. Is there a more? Are really nice with this one, it's much more of a curve. Yeah, with the wide one, it's much more just stable. That's so interesting. It, it, I guess it was this one I tried. Mm -hmm. it. So I was like, oh, I like the big, 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 yeah, big, go big, big, go whole type. I could do yeah. they have it, they have these an extra large, and I tried them on, uh -huh. but I need, I need both. Like, you I want to be like Wonder Woman, like, I can't, right? It's not all about balance. I can't use the dangle of the static. I need yeah, both. Yeah, we need both. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they say it's like the, like, Jerusalem's like, Titanic. Let's see what you have. But maybe we should collaborate with the beginning. Ain't the necklace from the Titanic, is it? No. <laughs> I guess that, though. <laughs> it is. Oops, I hit the wrong floor. Hmm. You know what, let's get off the floor, because there's been some good shots I think you'll like on there, and then we can take the stairs. Go to five. Call it the mood board. We talk to it. We I can see. Yeah. I really love that y'all call it a mood board. Yeah, we come up and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
you manifest That's with it. it. Oh my god. Oh, she's pretty. Wow. But this was the original Katrina when the collection launched. We brought it back. I didn't realize that she had a specific blue. Mm -hmm. She said anything in my cut in my case line is gonna be this blue. I agree. Like you could have walked, you could have walked in with that. That was, the, you know, yes. it. with this other one, it's very, it's very particular. This one looks simpler but fat, but classy. Yeah. That one sounds like you're trying to do too much. But it's still bold. But that one for the right event, for the right moment. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That would be. Like this one's more like a day to day. Okay, so whenever we're ready on the screen.
bone cut wrap in Elsa's, thank you, in her actual like studio. So this is the room where all her designs live. So he's like, it would be fitting if like we would just be in here as we're wrapping her bone cut. Uh, which I will show y'all when we get home. I'm not telling you which one I got yet. That's champagne. much for helping me today and like uh, oh and this course, is uh, the Venus of Aries and the Venus of Aries and the on this room. Took out two windows to get it in here. Let me shake a sheet. I'm like, B, <laughs> why didn't I get a picture of me with them on? But oh my God. They're so beautiful. 
Wow. Three carat studs and then everything else around it. It's a total of almost like 15 carats. Wow. All these pieces that you see here, they've had a little bit of work done here. Is anyone in there? I don't want to. No, it's okay. okay. We do. We and then on the other side is where we do the jewelry servicing, where we did the phone cuff right now. Oh, like an altar okay. ring size That's for engagement right. rings. Mm -hmm. um, we had a guy come in. I'm proposing in Central Park in an hour. Oh. oh. <laughs> and we got him the ring. She said yes. Or who worked with us revolutionized mm -hmm. the window displays. Okay, okay, so what's up, cookies? What's up? Okay, so I got stomped because I went in there thinking, you know, in earlier this year, I have a video where I covered my 2023 wish list, like certain items that I would love to be able to get this year. And one of them was the Elsa Peretti bone cuff um, in the larger size with the split. And I was just like, I love this cuff. You know, this is something that was introduced in the 70s and they brought it back and they do it so many different ways in enamel. Oh, not enamel. In, um, is it enamel? I don't know. They do it in different colors. They add different stones, all the things. And I just love the history of Elsa Peretti and how strong of a designer, artist, and woman she was. Like, she has her own room in Tiffany's in her own her own version of her blue like her room is in her blue not tiffany blue which i thought was really interesting to learn today i had an amazing experience with my essay jose luis hi boo um i love that we met first of all because i i think he's gonna watch this episode um he came right up to me and he was with the shits and when i say with the shits i mean he knew like i had my camera out he was like, you might want to get some footage of this, that, and a third. He's from Houston, been here for two years or going on two years. Um, and he took me through the whole store, gave me the best service, made me feel so welcomed, so seen, you know, and took away the... I didn't have a fear that I would be intimidated in that store. I was just like, is the vibe going to be right for me to get the clips that I need for the video? And... He made it so much fun to visit, to get the footage for this video, and also just to be a customer and have the experience of working with him. And officially, this is my second purchase at Tiffany's ever, and my first time ever shopping for anything at the flagship store, the landmark store. Um, my first purchase was at Hudson Yards, and it was a wedding gift for um, a newly wedded couple. So, um, yeah, he showed me all the sizes, all the things. I didn't know that there was a medium size with a split. Like I didn't know all these things. And um, he showed me all the possibilities and we have a winner basically. Cause I went in thinking that I knew what I was doing and what I wanted. And Jose was like, actually you wanna try this on? And here we are. Oh, also, so this is the bag that you get specifically from the landmark location at the uh, Tiffany's New York. It also comes with this its own tag, which I think is super cute. And um, yeah, I'll be saving this bag forever. And here is the Tiffany blue box that it comes in. Oh, y'all, y'all don't even know. Like, th this is cute. But look, look, wait till you see what's inside. Okay. Okay. So inside the box, he placed um, two different dust bags. We have this one, and then there's a smaller one that he placed on the bottom. So I got two dust bags. Thanks, Jose. Um, so I got this dust bag, and then this is the actual box. 
that the cuff will live in when it's not in use. Do y'all see this? I mean, I mean, if you're spending the money, like, yes, this so leather box, and it comes with this click. You push the button, and there you go. It's just stunning, like. I mean. <laughs> Y'all, I am no more good, oh my God. Okay, okay, so let me place this on while we're talking because there's just so many things. I really love it. Okay, so what helped me decide to go with this one instead of the um, large cuff? You know, he was talking about it while we were going up the um, to the level to try on some more sizes. Because the first one I tried on was a small, and then I tried this one on. I was like, actually, okay, there's something about this size that I do like, and I didn't think I would. Cause I was gonna go big or go home with the big cuff. I want the big boy. And he was like, the bigger one is a little restrictive. And I was just like, now mind you, obviously the bigger one is more expensive, right? It costs more. And I'm like, he's telling me that the higher priced one may not be the way to go. I like this essay because he's not trying to sell me something that down the line I'm going to be upset about. He wants me to get this as a forever piece, which is what it's meant to be. I also meant this to be a forever daily use cuff. And I was like, okay, all right, like, let's see the other one. You know, let's try all of them on. We go to the second, the, I don't even remember, third, fourth floor. And he brings out the large bone cuff and has a split. And he also showed me the medium sized one with a split as well, which I didn't know existed. And it didn't have the extra bone um, indent on that one. So it was pretty restrictive from here. And I was like, no, 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 I don't like it because it feels a little weird as a small size. So when I went to the mirror, I was just like, the large cuff is a little like, a bit much for everyday wear and I realized if I'm gonna be wearing it I'm typing on my computer I'm doing things with my phone and bending my wrist this way or I always have a lot of bags and even just like I feel like I, I would bang it up even more if I had the large cuff and I felt that this also was very strong I felt that it was very me it's a bit more simple but elevated edgy and it just stood out to me way more it felt more like me than the large cuff and I feel like the large cuff is great for you know evening wear and and those like big occasions and stuff like that and so you know I appreciated him presenting the idea of not actually buying the large bone cuff and instead getting something that was more useful and more cost per wear, girl math. So girl mathing again, he, he, he saved and made me some money today because I didn't spend a couple hundred dollars that I was expecting to spend. So shout out to Jose Luis for all of that. Please ask for him if you're ever at this location. He really like h-town down i really i love them down he was so dope and just like real and honest and so informative so th there were a couple things that i learned about the um tiffany store and how to shop and their financing options as well so you know lvmh owns tiffany we've known this for a while beyonce jay-z they did um big big marketing campaigns like they collaborate with them or partner with them and there has been a lot of buzz about this new Tiffany's location because the owner LVMH visited the store once and this is Jose told me everything um he visited the store once got lost and was just like we need to change it and prior to this the Tiffany's location on Fifth Avenue and 57th Street was pretty dark pretty a little cold I remember visiting it one time and I didn't really feel welcomed 
or I was a little too intimidated to ask about whatever I went there looking for years ago. This is probably like 2007. So to see how they redeveloped every layer of this store, how bright it is, how welcoming it is, how, how beautifully laid out the pieces are. They have everything in that store that you could think of. And I asked him, I was like, you know, I love the fact that I feel so welcomed here. And you know, some of these prices are really crazy. Like even for the, um, I forget the name of the bracelet now. Oh my God, the lock bracelet. It's like the new best thing. And we're no longer doing Cartier love bracelets because Tiffany's came out with like now their stunning lock bracelet. I think it's the lock bracelet. And even that, the cheapest, the lowest, cost one is uh $7,500 so I was like yo between that or like engagement rings or necklaces whatever right even this like what do you guys offer some form of like not Klarna but some type of financial plan and he said yes and I knew this part he said you can do financing where you pay 20% down and it has to be $2,000 um, to start. And I was like, but can you take it home with you? Like when you take, when you pay the 20, the 20% 20 down, he said, oh yes, 20% down, it's yours. And then you pay on it as you go. And then I also learned from him that um, you could do that with engagement rings or whatever. And they i was like well what what happens if like it doesn't work out and he's like we have a broken engagement policy where if the engagement breaks then we will take the ring back we do accept the ring back and refund the money so i was like wow okay so to me knowing those things it became a lot more approachable outside of the store being renovated and brightly designed and and just it was so beautiful inside of there the way that people can pay for items to me is a lot more approachable for the everyday customer, which is me. And um, I really appreciated his service. He gave us those Evians and champagne and uh, Lauderdale uh, macaroons and chocolates. Carlos ate both of the chocolates. It's okay. It's okay because I will be visiting Jose Luis again because I definitely want him to help me with some uh, Christmas gifts that I have in mind for this year. But I mean, all in all, I love, I love this. This is so dope. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt when I was buying. <laughs> but literally it's so good and they will um he said you can bring it in twice a year max he suggested because it it takes away from it um every time to get it polished and they did they did that too when i was buying it today they took some time to set up the box make sure that you know this was in place and they even have um an on-site what is it um it's not a repair like a like a studio on site where you can get things uh tightened and sized and polished on site which i think is unique to this location also i don't think all of them have that if anything the one in paris does but i thought that was really cool and he said there was a story where a guy came into the store and said i need an engagement ring i'm proposing in an hour in central park he went and proposed came back and they got his size right there on the spot and um the the way that they just do things i'm i'm a tiffany's girl like i wasn't really like when it comes to fine jewelry like i don't know anyone else really besides cartier and i have never bought anything from cartier but this this type of treatment and experience that i got at tiffany's i'm i'm a client now like i will be visiting and asking for jose luis like at every time every time and um yeah it was it was literally like a museum in a way going into that store and seeing all the pieces the basquia everything even the crystals on the ceiling the the imagery that they have on the first floor it was just so it was so beautiful and i'm grateful that even in this weather i was like carlos i really want to go on friday to get this brace i've been wanting it all year and he rolled in with me we went through this nasty weather and it turned out to be an experience that I was not expecting. It was way more and my essay is bomb.com diggity diggity and I love him. So 
please, 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 shout out to him. Shout out, shout out to Carlos too for filming, helping me film this vlog and taking my direction. And I will cherish this always. I will be wearing it starting right now, immediately. This is an everyday thing for me. She looks stunning. She does not need to be in the box, but I love the fact that I have this box when she's not in use. Tiffany blue leather box. <sighs> Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I really was looking forward to making this purchase. I've been working pretty hard. We had we had a rough year, but like it was really everything that happened that wasn't the most positive. It gave me some really great lessons and I didn't feel down and out about those experiences. I feel like it just made me stronger and being able to gift myself this I'm like, you go girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'll see y'all later. Uh, comment below. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what's on your wish list. And um, I'll see y'all next episode. Okay, bye cookies. Bye. Bye.